retrofitting of Testbench Cruise and previous models of Triumph with a 5.5 kW engine and pump of increased productivity is necessary for coding Delphi C4i injectors and for more stable work during long-term operation of the test bench at pressures about 1,800 bars. The standard delivery set includes flanged electric motor for 5.5 kW, engine mounting bracket, yoke for fastening the injection pump to the engine together with fastening bolts and washers, aluminium couplings for motor and pump, as well as a polyurethane expansion insert between the couplings. It should be noted that any standard puller can be used to comfortably remove the couplings from the pump and motor. In addition to the above, a high-performance fuel pump with fastening bolts and washer is added to the complete delivery set. A flange is also available for use with other pumps at the request of users. The flange is also supplied with fixing bolts. To replace the electric motor at cruise test bench, models after June 2020, for the convenience of replacement, it is necessary to dismantle the computer and the mounting panel under it. This will provide convenient access to the mounting bolts of the engine bracket. In previous versions of the test bench, the computer panel was attached somewhat differently than in this video. The panel was unscrewed from the side of the electric motor, and the computer did not need to be dismantled. After removing the computer and its panel, you must disconnect the motor cable and free the pump from the pipes and cable that fit to it. The engine bracket is connected to the bench frame through anti-vibration mounts. To release the bracket with the motor, they must be dismantled. For comfortable replacement of the engine, we recommend using a hydraulic jack. At the cruise test bench, lightly raise the engine, remove the anti-vibration mounts. Then, lowering the engine a little, we take it out of the test bench together with the bracket and the pump. In Triumph test bench, dismantling looks a little different, and this will be mentioned below. The engine bracket is designed to accommodate its different engines offered by Dieselland. Internal holes M10 are designed for mounting 4 kW motors. M12 threaded holes on the outer sides of the bracket are for mounting a silver 5.5 kW motor. The left offset outer holes also have M12 threads, but are designed for a 5.5 kW blue motor. The displacement of the holes is due to the different lengths of the motors, so the motor does not go beyond the dimensions of the stand. In early versions of stands, the bracket may be welded and differ greatly from the one shown in the video. Such a bracket can no longer be used and must be replaced with a new one. Having fastened the new engine to the bracket, we install this unit on the test bench. It should be noted that the pump can be installed both on the test bench and outside the test bench. Having previously assembled the entire set of retrofit equipment and then install the entire unit on the test bench. In the previous models of the Triumph test bench, where a 4 kW engine is installed, it is impossible to replace this unit entirely due to the design features of the test bench. Therefore, dismantling should start with the pump, then the engine and the bracket. And accordingly, the installation is carried out in the reverse order. First the bracket, then the engine and finally the pump. The video clearly shows that the installation of this retrofit kit is a simple task and does not require a lot of user intervention.